Hi, I'm Jill Rupp from June Taylor. Today we are going to make these fun project bags. This is going to store and organize everything in your sewing room, whether you're a quilter, cross stitch, embroider, whatever you do, you're going to need to be organized. So these fun project bags come in a kit. This is the back side and it looks so pretty. And this is the front side. And you're going to be able to make both of these. One finishes at 16 inches square and the other at 18 inches square. Let's look at how this goes together. Once you open up your kit, you can see that it contains all the essential parts to make two of the project bags. So you are going to be getting your instruction sheet. You are going to be getting some nice sewable vinyl. This is 12 mil vinyl, so it's very easy to sew. And you can even sew with the tissue paper on if that's easier for your machine. And then you're gonna get this very durable polypropylene with the pattern printed right on it. So this is what you're going to actually be using as the pattern, and it's also the stabilizer that makes up the bag. And you're going to be getting two of those, one for each size, and then you're also going to be getting two of our zippity do done pre sewn zippers. So the hard work is already done for you. The zipper is already sewn in. You're just gonna nest your project into the casing and straight stitch. So this is a very beginner type project. Let me show you how this works. Today we're gonna to make the 16 inch project bags. So we're gonna cut that out of the polypropylene and leave about a half of an inch extra of the material around the outside edge. And then we're also gonna cut our fabrics. We tell you the fabric cutting dimensions for the backing, which we've got cut here, and for all the pieces that we're gonna to use to do our quilt as you go. So the first step is I wanna attach my polypropylene base to my backing fabric. And you can use one of two things. You can use a uh, quilt basting spray. And this is something that you would always spray, not on the fabric, but you'd spray it on the polypropylene surface or your backing. This is really nice. This is actually a new spray for us and it's odorless and it doesn't gum your needles. So we love using this. So you can spray that on here. Your other option, if you want to attach, is you can use uh, this fabric glue stick. Now don't be alarmed, it goes on purple, but it's gonna dry clear. And so that also can attach your pieces for you. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to cut out all of the different pieces that are required to make the kit. Our Starch Savvy is actually a man-made product. It's odorless, it's colorless, and it's a very good formula for making fabrics stiff. In fact, with every application, your fabrics will get a little bit stiffer. So you can even use this if you're an embroiderer and you like to have things nice and stiff. So all my fabrics are cut and starched, and I'm going to now take fabric number one, which is the square, and I'm gonna put it in the number one position like this. Now let's hold that in place, and to do that, you can pin it, or I'm just gonna use a little bit of this glue. And remember, it goes on purple, but it dries clear. But that is just gonna hold my number one piece in place so I can get started. Then we're gonna take piece number two, which is this rectangle, and we're gonna go right sides together onto piece number one, raw edges even. So the lines that you see here are not sewing lines, They're, these are placement lines. So I'm basically lining my two fabrics up right sides together on that placement line. And now I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch away from the edge. So that looks like this. You can see my quarter of an inch seam allowance away from the line. Now when I flip it open, it should land right on the next placement line, and it does. And now we need to press this seam allowance open. So you can finger press it, or what I like to use is our magic seam wand. This is actually made out of wood, and wood retains heat very well. So you can use this to press that seam down. You can use it in either direction, or if you like, you can actually take it warm it against your iron so that it gets nice and warm like this and then you can press that seam allowance open again we don't want to be pressing right onto this surface with our iron because it's not good to do that with the polypropylene now we're going to take piece three and that's going to go right sides together onto the placement line between one and three like this and we are going to sew that so now you can see piece three we're going to flip that down and again, we're gonna press that seam allowance like this. 
and then we're going to add pieces four and five all in the same manner so right sides together raw edges even again onto the placement line like this and now we're going to sew in a quarter of an inch and now our block is really coming together the last few pieces we're going to add is six and seven and then eight and nine so you can see six and seven are added here and now our last two pieces eight and nine are going to be added and then when they're done we're going to trim out our block so now we've got all our pieces done and our block is trimmed if you want to top stitch this down just to hold things in place you can do that not necessarily but you can so this is actually the back so we're going to save this because this is what we're going to use to attach to the front the other pieces that we had in our kit when we cut it apart is we had two headers one header for the 16 inch block and one for the 18 inch and what we're going to do with that is simply layer two pieces of fabric one on the front and one on the back and we just chose to use the same peach dot fabric it's already been starched and now I want to quilt that and quilting means just make some a few lines to hold all these layers together so we're just going to straight stitch and you can use um, painters tape or you can use uh, even a ruler and a marking pen but I've got that done here and so all my lines are quilted in here and now this header will stay together my next step is I want to add my zippity do done pre-sewn zipper so to do that you simply open the casing slide the header into the casing like this and we're going to run a straight stitch all the way down here half our zipper will already be in so I've got that done here and my half my zipper is in I'm going to turn it the other way and I'm going to take my piece of plastic you can leave the tissue on if you want and I'm going to nest that inside of the casing and we're going to sew with a straight stitch all the way across here and my zipper will be installed now my header is connected to my plastic and my zippity do done zipper is in this casing gives you a lot of opportunity for embellishment if you have machine fancy machine stitches you can add that to kind of decorate your zipper you can take a piece of fabric cut it about an inch and a half press the ends under set that on here and you can simply straight stitch that down that gives you another option of decorating that casing or the other thing that you can do is you can cut a piece of fabric I cut it about an inch and a quarter press down the quarter inch on one end and simply take that finished edge that you press down lay it right on to zippity do done zipper and just stitch right close to the teeth in fact there's actually a stitching line where we've connected the zipper if you want to go right over the top of that stitching line you can and once you do that simply fold your raw edge under and you have essentially covered your zippity do done zipper to match your project bag and here is the front side of our bag with our embellished casing for our zippity do done zipper and so our next step is we are going to put wrong sides together so this was our back and this is our front with wrong sides together and we're going to cut our binding and we just used two and a half inch binding um, we're going to sew that around the edges and our bag will be complete here's our 16 inch project bag finish doesn't that look great and look at that a zipper is already installed super easy I like that you can see through this so that you can actually get all your tools together and you can see what you've got this is perfect for if you're a quilter if you've got your blocks under construction you can kind of see what that is your matching thread the tools you're going to use your pins whatever and then of course here is the 18 inch one also great if you have eight o'clock if you're a cross stitcher you can keep all your things in here needlepoint these are wonderful art bags if you have kids that are you know wanting to travel and you know take your art supplies with you I do know there's a couple people that have actually put handles on the top just a strip of handle and they hang this over the um, their car so that the kids can have their art bags handy when they're sitting in the back seat so that's something to consider as well we have uh, sewn these bags with white zippers here's another 
version where instead of using the white zippity doo dun zippers, we used gray. And this is what the casing looks like if you just leave it plain, which I think is lovely. But again, you can add machine stitches here. You can add fabric over the top. You can leave some margin on either side so that your zippity doo dun kind of looks like piping. Let's show another couple versions. Here's another one of the white. This is really pretty too. Again, we left this casing plain but did something different. A little animal print here with this. And I love the fact that you can, they're really pretty when you look at them like this because you can see that background fabric. But of course, yours will be full of all your supplies. And then here's another gray version. This is cute because this fabric has sewing machines on it. And then we did this on an angle, which I think looks really nice across the zipper. And for those of you who don't like putting a zipper in, the hard work is already done for you. That zipper is in. Here's a navy blue version. That's pretty too. Again, you can see that nice fabric in the back. Put a little casing on this one. And then we also have this in black. So when I say black, I mean the, the zipper color contained in the kit. So the kits are all the same. What changes is the zipper color. So this is a black zipper and we embellish that with fabric and that with fabric here. So they're beautiful on the, on the one side, the back side, and they're just as pretty on the front. So these are our two pack of project bags with zippity doo dun zippers to keep you organized with all your projects as you go about construction. I love to have all my things organized. I hope you've enjoyed those project bags. Also, don't forget, check out Fat Quarter Shop's YouTube videos in the quilting area and subscribe. You'll see some great quilting tutorials and other projects from June Taylor there as well. Mm -hmm.